bright duty every student matters hello students in data handling till now we have studied one of the central tendency and that was arithmetic mean we can simply write it as mean also we have seen mean is equal to or mean of the data is equal to sum of the observations sum of all the observations divided by number of observations or we can say total number of observations this ratio gives us arithmetic mean or we can simply call it as mean also now in this video we are going to study two more central tendencies now before introducing other central tendencies let's see one example so the example is to find out the weekly demand for different sizes of shirt a shopkeeper kept records of sales of sizes 90 cm 95 cm 100 cm 105 cm and 110 cm following is the record for a week so here one table is given which is representing different sizes of shirt and number of shirts sold in a week now if he found the mean of the number of shirts sold do you think that he would be able to decide which shirt size to keep in the stock so let's try to find mean of this data first as we know mean is equal to sum of observation divided by number of observations so here sum of the observations will be number of shirts sold and that will be equal to 8 plus 22 plus 32 plus 37 plus 6 and this is divided by number of observations so here there are five different sizes of shirt so it will be five in this case now this will be equal to 105 divided by 5 which gives us 21 now mean of this data is 21 so should he order 21 shirts of each size will it be fine i think it's not an good idea because the number of shirts sold of 90 cm are very less it is 8 and same in the case of 110 it is only 6 so why should he keep these sizes in stock now by seeing the data he decided that he will be ordering shirts of size 95 cm 100 cm and 105 cm because number of shirts sold for these sizes are very high as we can see it is 22 for 95 cm 32 shirts are sold of 100 cm and 37 shirts are sold of 105 cm so he decided that he will be keeping these sizes in the stock so in this example we have seen that the shopkeeper was concerned about number of shirts sold of each category he was not at all interested in finding mean of the data now let's look at one more example it is the owner of a ready made dress shop says the most popular size of the dress i sell is the size 90 cm so here also the owner of the ready made shop is interested in knowing how many shirts or how many dresses are sold of different sizes so according to him 90 cm size is the most popular size of the dress that is most of the people buys size of 90 cm therefore we can say that the highest occurring event here is the sale of size 90 cm this is the highest occurring event now this central tendency or this representative value is known as mode of the data now we will be defining how to find mode of the data or what is mode of the 
observations or set of the observations now let's see what is mode of the set of observations the mode of a set of observations or the set of data is the observation that occurs most often it means the observation which is occurring most oftenly is known as mode of the data or mode of the set of observations now suppose we are having few observations uh, let's say we are having 7 8 1 minus 2 3 1 4 1 5 1 7 1 now we have to find mode of this data so what do you think which observation is occurring which observation is occurring most number of times now as we can see here the observation which is one is occurring most number of times it is occurring five times in the data so mode of this data we can say it is equal to one now similarly let's take one more example let's say we are having few alphabets let's say first one is a b z x x x x b y let's say c now suppose we are having this data so what do you think what is mode of this data which observation is occurring most number of times or which observation is occurring most oftenly so that observation here is x so therefore mode of this data will be x so this is how we can find mode of the data now let's see one more example on mode of the data so here we have to find the mode of the given set of numbers and the set here is 1 1 2 4 3 2 1 2 2 4 now let's see how many times one is occurring in this data one is occurring one two three so it is occurring three times and we are having one number two so how many times two is occurring two is occurring one two three and four so two is occurring four times now let's see how many times the number four is occurring 4 is occurring 1 and 2 it is occurring two times only and how many times number 3 is occurring it is occurring only one time now as we know mode of the data is the number or the observation which is occurring most oftenly so that number here will be 2 because it is occurring most number of times it is four times so mode of this data will be two so this is how we can find mode of the data let's consider one more example so here also one data is given to us we have to find mode of this data for that we have to see which value or which observation is occurring most oftenly or most number of times so let's see how many times 2 is occurring 2 is occurring 1 2 and 3 so 2 is occurring here 3 times how many times 6 is occurring here 6 is occurring only one time so we will write it here that 6 is occurring only one time and after 6 we are having number 5 can you check how many times 5 is occurring in this data so it is occurring 1 and 2 so it is occurring only 2 times what is the next number now the next number is 3 3 is occurring 1 2 3 3 times now after 3 we are having one number zero also so zero is occurring only one time 
similarly we can check for 4 4 is also occurring 3 times as we can see from the data 4 has occurred 3 times now we have to tell what is the mode of this data now as we know mode is the observation which is occurring most number of times so mode of this data will be 2 3 and 4 because these are the three values which are occurring most number of times so therefore from this example we can say that mode of the data is not a unique value we can have more than one values as a mode of the data as we got here we got there are three modes that and they are 2 3 and 4 these three numbers are modes of this data now for more clarification let's look at at more one more example and here also we are having a set of observations and they are 2 14 16 12 14 14 16 14 10 14 18 and 14 we have to tell what is mode of this data now as it is very clear from this data only that the number 14 is occurring most number of times it has occurred six times in this data so mode of this data will be 14 so for finding mode we just have to check which observation is occurring most number of times that will give us mode till now we have seen that mode is the observation which is occurring most oftenly and that was very easier to tell from the data itself now what if our data is very large how can we tell which observation is occurring most number of times or which observation is more frequent for example we can take this question following are the margins of victory in a football matches of a league and we are having this data this data is very large as it is not possible from seeing this data to tell which is the mode of this data or which observation is occurring most number of times so what we will do in this case we will form a tabular form of the data we will just simply organize this unorganized data which we have already seen that how we can do that for that we will form a table now in this table the first column will be representing the different observations so that will be margins of victory in this case so we will write margins here and the second column will be the tally bars and the third column will be representing frequency of the data or frequency of the different observations so what we will write here we can write number of matches in this case now let's write all the different observations in the first column as we can see from the data the different observations are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 these are the different observations now let's start from the first observation the first observation is 1 so we will make one tally bar in front of 1 the second observation is 3 we will make one tally bar in front of 3 and then we are having 2 we will make one tally bar in front of 2 and then 5 so same thing we will do in front of 5 also and then we are having 1 then one more tally bar in front of 1 and then we are having 4 one tally bar in front of 4 and then 6 same thing with the 6 and then 2 so this will be the second tally bar for 2 and then 5 again one tally bar in front of 5 and then we are having 2 2 2 we are having 3 2's we will put 3 tally bars in front of 2 now 1 2 and the third one will be crossing all the 4 tally bars here 
this is how we make the fifth tally bar every time and then we are having four so one tally bar in front of four and then one so one tally bar in front of one and then we are having two one tally bar in front of two and then we are having three so one tally bar will come here in front of three and then we are having two ones so we will simply put two tally bars in front of one so the fifth tally bar will come like this it will be crossing the previous four tally bars and then we are having two so one tally bar in front of two and then three and then two again and then we are having six and then four after four we are having three and then two and after two we are having two ones so we will put two tally bars in front of one and then four and after four we are having two so it will be crossing the four observations or four tally bars and then we are having one it will be like this here and then five and after five we are having two times three so it will be like this and one tally bar will be like this and then we are having two after two we have three and then two and after two we have four so it will be like this it will be crossing the four tally bars so the fifth tally bar or the every fifth tally bar will be crossing the previous four tally bars and then we have two it will be here and then one like this and then we have at the last two so it will be here now in the third column we will write the frequencies of each and every observation so the observation 1 as we can see from here it is occurring 5 plus 4 9 times and the observation 2 is occurring 5 plus 5 10 plus 4 14 times and then observation 3 is occurring 5 plus 2 7 times and then 4 is occurring 5 times and and 5 is occurring 3 times so we will write 3 here and 6 is occurring 2 times so we will write 2 here so these are the frequencies of the data or frequencies of the different observations now can we tell from this table like which will be the mode or which observation is occurring most number of times now just by seeing these frequencies we can tell that this observation is occurring most number of times so therefore we can simply write mode of this data will be 2 so what we did here our data was very large it was very difficult from tell here that what will be the mode of the data or which observation is occurring most number of time so for that what we did we just simply organized the data in tabular form we were having one unorganized data we just simply organized it and now from this organized data just by seeing the frequency we can tell what is the mode so we got mode is equal to 2 now let's see one more example on the mode of the data the question is find the mode of the numbers and the numbers are given here so what we will do we just have to check here which observation is occurring most number of times now simply we can see from here 2 is occurring 3 times 3 is occurring 2 times 4 is occurring only 1 time and 5 is occurring 3 times 6 is occurring 2 times and 8 is occurring 1 times so this data was very small data so just by looking at the data it became clear to us or it was clear to us that the data is having 2 and 5 as the observations which are occurring most number of times or which are occurring most frequently so mode of this data will be 
टू एंड फाइव एस दे बोथ आर अकरिंग इक्वल नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स दैट इज थ्री टाइम्स सो अगेन वी हैव सीन वन मोर एग्जाम्पल इन विच मोड इज नॉट ए यूनिक वैल्यू सो वी कैन राइट दैट मोड इज नॉट यूनिक ऑलवेज इट कैन हैव मोर देन वन वैल्यूज now let's see one more question based on mode of the data so in this question we have to find the mode of the following data few numbers are given or few collection or data is given to us we have to find mode of the data now as we can see here this data is very large so what we have to do we have to organize this data in the tabular form first we have to organize this data in the tabular form first so what we will do for that we will make a table for it now in the first column of the data we will write our all the observations in the second column we will mark tally and in the third column we will write frequency corresponding to each and every observation so let's write frequency here now the different observations are 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 these are the different observations now let's start from the first observation the first observation here is 12 so we will mark one tally bar in front of 12 and then we have 14 and then 12 again one tally bar in front of 12 and then 16 one tally bar in front of 16 and then 15 and then 13 after 13 we have 14 and then 18 after 18 we have 19 we will put one tally bar in front of 19 and then 12 so one tally bar in front of 12 and then 14 we will put one tally bar here in front of 14 and then 15 one tally bar in front of 15 and then 16 one tally bar in front of 16 and then 15 so one tally bar will come here in front of 15 and then we have two times 16 now we will put two tally bars in front of 16 and then we have 15 so one tally bar will come here in front of 15 and then we have 17 so the first tally bar for the 17 here now 13 after that we have 16 two times so we will put two tally bars in front of 16 now in 16 we are already having four tally bars so fifth one will come like this crossing the previous four tally bars and then we will put one more tally bar as we have to put two tally bars here now after now after 16 we are having 15 two times so we will put two tally bars in front of 15 so it will be like this and one more tally bar and then we have 13 so it will be like this and 15 one tally bar in front of 15 and then we have 17 after 17 we have 15 again so one tally bar in front of 15 and then 14 so one tally bar will come here in front of 14 and then we have 15 again so one more tally bar in front of 15 and then we have 13 so one tally bar here in front of the 13 then we have 15 again so one more tally bar in front of 15 so four tally bars are already completed here so the fifth one will be crossing the four tally bars here and at the last we are having 14 so we will put one tally bar in front of 14 so there are already four tally bars here so we will be putting one tally bar which is crossing these four tally bars now we have to write corresponding frequencies so the frequency for the observation 12 is 3 as we can see from here and for 13 it will be 4 and then for 14 it is 5 and then for 15 it is 5 plus 5 10 
and for 16 it will be 5 plus 1 6 and for 17 it will be 2 and for 18 it is 1 and for 19 also it is 1. Now can we tell from this table what will be the mode of this data? So mode of this data will be 15 as we can see from the table 15 is occurring most number of times that is 10 times. So mode of this data will be 15. So what we have seen here from this table that 15 is occurring more frequently. So the mode of the data is 15. So what we did in this question, we have done two things. The first was the organization of the data. Now by organizing the data, it became easier for us to tell what is the mode of the data.